Today on Every Burger in Vegas, we're eating at Water Grid. Water Grill is in a Caesars Palace classic location. A couple restaurants have rolled through here. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is. It's mostly a seafood restaurant, but they got a burger on the menu. So let's go inside, let's have a burger. This is every burger in Vegas. Hi, can we get in for two? Great. Alex, Water Grill is a seafood restaurant in Caesars, known for seafood, but they also got burgers. They also got sushi. They also got a raw bar. I want to know how the burger is. Let's go inside, let's check it out. Every burger in Vegas. Oh, thank you. Great. Off the bat, nice chill vibe. We're right here in the middle of Caesars Mall. Terrence is looking directly into the restaurant. I'm looking at people walking along the Italian countryside with the painted rooftop that is the Caesars Palace Mall. It was an innovation in its time. I remember when they built this in the late 90s and it just seemed so cool. Before everyone had a fake roof, Caesars had a fake roof. This used to be a couple other restaurants. Now it's this restaurant. And I'm wondering if it's any good. I'm actually not even seeing the cheeseburger. This is the menu we were presented with and we were scared for a second. We we're like, they only got delicious fishes here. But we don't eat fish on this channel, we only eat burgers. But then she turned over this page, revealing a whole selection of burgers and meats and steaks. And ooh boy, am I excited. Here's your mission for the week. You know, we love All You Can Vegas on this channel. If you haven't checked out his channel, it's definitely worth it. Him and his wife go around trying all sorts of fancy Vegas foods and showing the world about it. I would love to make a collab happen. I think that would really help grow the channel. So if you wanna make that happen, help grow every burger, then what I need you to do is go on over to All You Can Vegas' latest video and leave a comment and say, when will you eat a burger with every burger? If enough people do that, maybe we can make that collab happen. And next time you watch an episode, it might be me, All You Can Vegas, All You Can Vegas' wife, and Terrence all at the table together. I think that'd be really sick. It would really help tie the Vegas food community together because we're all on our own little islands. I would love if we could all be friends, best friends even. <laughs> so go ahead and go over to that page and comment, when are you gonna eat a burger with every burger? And then by the time you come back from doing that, we'll be here eating a burger at the Water Grill. Can we get the bacon cheddar cheeseburger? Burger. Yeah. One Just one. Thank you. How do you like it cooked? Uh, medium rare. Medium rare? Yeah. Okay. Burger secured. Waitress asked me what we're doing. I told her this is, the 88th burger that we've eaten. She loved it. First question everyone asks, what's the best burger in Vegas? Answer, watch the channel and find out. Second question everyone asks, have you really eaten every burger in Vegas? Answer, no, but we're working on it. Third question everyone asks, what's the best burger in Vegas? And I say that was already question number one. Uh, look at that. The bacon cheeseburger from Water Grill. Look at that. Off the bat, you can tell it's a moderately loose pack, not a tight packed patty, which is good. The looser, the better. You know, you don't want it to be too loose. You don't want it to be like a chili, but you want it to be loose enough that it's gonna have some juice in there. Bacon looks fine. Stack looks okay. Bacon cheeseburger from the Water Grill in the Caesars Palace. Every burger in Vegas, let's try it. It has really thick cut bacon and a remoulade sauce that's on top that makes it taste like seafood, heavily of seafood. I'm still tasting it like shrimpy type of lobster tail type of taste. But in order to properly give the rating, you know what we have to do. Let's tear this baby apart. Still, aftertaste in my mouth is of fish. The bun. Bun seems fresh enough, grilled, crispy. The sauce has a nice, sourness to it, although I don't love how it matches with the burger itself. 
It tastes like a cocktail sauce, like something that you'd put with some shrimp. Now we have the lettuce. Looks like a butter lettuce. Good, clean, fresh produce. Same with the tomato, it looks like. Not mealy at all. Fine. Red onion. Same. The produce buyer is doing their job. Chewy. Mm. Thick cut, chewy bacon, like you'd get at a high-end breakfast place. And the cheese is a cheddar cheese. Nice, well done cheddar. I could eat a lot of that cheddar. That's good cheddar cheese. Now on to the patty. We've got well done patty, AKA overcooked patty. Not the highest quality meat, but also not Burger King quality, a little higher than that. And then onto the bottom bun. Bottom bun is a little soggy from the top burger. You can see under here, there's a nice ring of grease underneath the burger. And that grease is just liquid. That has basically liquefied the bottom bun. <laughs> liquefied the bottom bun. You know, Rating on this burger, without the sauce, it might be good. But with that sauce, making it taste like shrimp, making it taste like seafood, and being a burger at a seafood restaurant where like you're gonna order it because you don't want seafood, obviously, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. They're trying their best and they just didn't deliver, you know? Overcooked and with a weird sauce. I don't know what to tell you, bro. That's, that's kind of where we're sitting right now. Let's go into final thoughts. Water Grill, seems like a great place if you want some high-end lobster, you want some fresh seafood, you want all that stuff, go for it. If you're going here for the burger, I'm gonna give it a not recommend. Just because the burger itself is not worth coming for, not worth traveling for. The vibe is cool. Like you can see the mall and everything, it's cool, we're in Caesars Palace. But you can also compare this vibe to like Carmine's over there, who has better pasta. Or you can go over to uh, the Palms over there. Same vibe, you know, same location. So with all of that in mind, you know, it makes it tough to find a reason why you would go to the water grill unless you're really into that fresh raw bar, you're into those fresh fish. And I think they have a path for improvement if they undercook the meat, you know, cook the meat a lot less and change out that sauce. And maybe this is one of those where we come back in a year and see how they improve. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more videos like this because we are eating every burger in Vegas. Leave a comment down below. Have you had the burger here at the Water Grill? I would love to know what you think. Would love to know what burger you want us to try next. And then, Make sure you go out there and do your mission for the week to help grow the channel. We'd really appreciate it. Grab the Patreon, pick up some merch, help support the channel, and I'll see you soon. For every burger in Vegas, I'm every burger in Vegas. Have a burger. Let's see the damage here. So for the cheeseburger, we're looking at 23 bucks. After all the taxes and everything, that's 24.93, which puts it in a similar category to something like an Echo and Rick or something like a Carson's Kitchen, you know, $16, $17 burgers. Are there better $16 burgers in Vegas? 100%. Are there better $24 burgers in Vegas? 100%. Are there better $24 burgers in Vegas? 10 steps that way at the Gordon Ramsay pub. Yeah. <laughs> so why come here? That's a question. I'm leaving up to you. All right, Terrence, let's get out of here. Next week on Every Burger in Vegas. I'm assuming they still do concerts, rock bands coming in all the time.